All right, guys, so we're back out here, Pimpam on my favorite, favorite, favorite spot. And a couple of casts, and this one I've got a lot. Bony bim mostly, but some mullet in there as well. We're going to see how we go. Ready? No. <laughs> yeah. He's going to be green. He's right here though. Let's just see what it is. Shark. Oh, it's a shark. Shark the whole time. Now. That's all I want to watch. Get him if you can. You net. Yeah. It's a shark. He might do a runner, eh? Yeah, yeah. It's a bull shark. I'm surprised he hasn't bit me off yet. Keep the run too far. I reckon the other one was a bull shark. Yeah. Cause right, he, he, didn't, he sort of didn't wake up. Oh, I, th I think he's hooked on the corner. That's why he's not off yet. He got it really hard, yeah. eh? Like I'm kind of stuck, you know what I mean? Do you want to try and bring the other line in or is it snagged? The line snagged, isn't it, the other one? Or? Yeah, it looks like it. There he is. Are you able to get him? Yeah. I don't need to break the net. Yeah, well... <laughs> Uh, it's good like that. Leave him like that. He's good. Uh, I'm going to pull him straight out. I'll bring him up a bit. Yeah. What was that on? Just, on Just on the, on the what's your name? On the... Oh, those little bonuses. Yeah. He's hooked in the corner. Yeah, he's hooked in the corner. That's why he couldn't get me out. Yeah. Alright. What's good? Yeah. I've got the boots on. Yeah, he's coming home with us, this fella. Do you want to fly? Uh, yeah, thanks. Well, what should we do? Uh, we're going to kill him. Okay, so here we have it, guys. I've uh, you've seen how we caught the bull shark. I cut off the tail. We killed it first, of course. That's a humane thing to do. Slit its throat, let it bleed out. It let out for quite a bit, about an hour and a half. Um, cut off its tail as well, but cutting off its tail, you let the blood out from there. Now I'm going to go ahead. Uh, I've got this really sharp knife. I'm not using a, a fillet knife or fish knife or anything like that. Anyway, um, so I'm going to go ahead and from what I remember. the way through so that in one go so everything basically comes out and then i'll cut and remember sharks don't have bone per se they've only got cartilage and look at that it all comes out nicely basically in one go look at that. beautiful all right and there you have it like that okay so that's what you have basically you have just the torso of it the next part what we're going to do is that we're going to Chop this fella in half. We're going to go straight down the back of him and we're going to make him in two parts. So I'm just going to find his backbone over there. There we have it. We've got these two parts, and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead after I sharpen this a bit. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to um, skin it out. So the next bit, as you can see over here, I've got this, um, it's this cartilage, it's the backbone. So I'm going to cut that out. And as you can see that. That's a whole backbone out. Okay, now comes the most annoying and difficult part of it, and that's trying to skin it without. Do it in section.
All right, and there you have it. That's a skin. As I said, it's not the best skinning jobs around, but it's enough. You missed a lot of that bloodline, which is good. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's what you end up with. And obviously we're gonna clean that up. And once you section that, that makes beautiful fish and chips, yeah? So, as you saw us start the day, we caught the bull shark. Um, and we had it in the freezer for about a week, a little over a week. And as you can see, the, um, the fillets over there are beautiful. There is no smell to it, unlike when we caught it, usually has a smell to it. That's why you need to freeze it for a while. So what I'm going to do today, I'm going to make a batter, beautiful, light batter. And then to go with that, I'm going to make a, uh, a sauce, which is a secret of a friend of mine. And um, we'll tell you how it goes. All right, so as my oil is getting along underway, I'm going to cut these up into small parts, relatively small parts. So, say like that. And as you notice with shark, it's beautiful. You get thick-ish uh, pellets, white, firm, no bones or anything like that. Because as you all know already, sharks do not have any bones, they have cartilage. I'm just going to go ahead and trim that off. So I want to trim any off looking meat and anything that's too dark because that will have a strong flavour. So that over there, you can see it's slightly darkish meat. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to trim that. Next I'm going to make the batter. For the batter, I'm going to be using um, cold water. In addition to cold water, uh, I'm also going to be putting in uh, some ice. So I want the batter. One of the secrets to a good crispy batter is to keep the batter really, really cold. And so that's what I'm going to do. The ingredients for the batter is quite, quite simple. All I have is self-raising flour. I've got vinegar as well. This was white vinegar. And I've got salt and pepper. So I'm going to show you how, and obviously you're going to need water for that. You need very, very cold water, as cold as you can get, and that is how I'll be making the batter. Go ahead and make my batter, so I'm going to add my flour in, that should be about enough. Then I'm going to add in some salt and pepper. Alright, so that's enough salt. I'm going to add some pepper as well, and this is all to taste. So obviously you can change it up as you like. Right, so add some pepper in there, and then we're going to add in our cold water. Now, the key to a batter, good batter, is that you want it to be nice and runny. Right, then I'm going to add in my vinegar. Now, add in a little bit more water. Remember, I don't have a whole lot of fish. This should be enough. I just want it to, yeah, I just want it to run like this. And remember, you can always add in more flour if need be. So I'm gonna add in my vinegar. And uh, you'd want to work at, at nine parts water, one part vinegar. So, that, that should be fine. I think that is good enough, so that's how you want it. That's how you want to have it. Maybe. Okay, that oil is ready, as you can see. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to dip my fish in it. That's how you want it. Right? You just, you, you don't want it too heavily battered. Given 
thickness, the thickness of these fish, I would give it about just a few minutes. Okay, so it's been in for a few minutes now. As you can see, they're turning up beautiful gold, and I can already feel that they're crispy. And this is this is what you want. And it's at this point that you want to pull them out and into colander if you have one. If not, you can just put it straight onto some paper. Just drain off as much oil as you can. Now I'm going to make this sauce. Um, it's kind of special, but it's using your everyday ingredients. So it's a mix of basically everything. So I'm going to get right, and this is all the while while the fish is being fried. So that's your tomato. That's your barbecue. Too much of that. And then mayo, I think is pretty much the star of the show. So you go good with that. Some mayo over there. Um, all right, and then I'm gonna add some salt to that. Some little salt. I'm gonna add some pepper once again to that and paprika now this is sweet paprika if you like it a little bit hot you can add some hot stuff in and uh then now this is up to you i love chopped onions and you can have chopped onions you can have pickles as well i don't have any pickles at the moment so i'm just going to add in some chopped onions as they call it in the market all right and we can present that up real nice in a minute Okay, so there we have it, people. As you can see, that only honestly took me something like in the vicinity of 15 to 20 minutes. From the time that I got home, put everything together, put the oil on, um, you know, fried everything. Obviously, I had the, the fish was out to thaw um, and made the sauce. Now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give this a try. It's going to be a little bit hot. Mmm, mmm, that is so good, not lying, I'm not saying that because it's my recipe, it's not actually mine, a friend of mine, a friend of mine, just please, shout out to him, he's the one that's actually in the video, he was there when I caught the shark, and he took half the shark, that was half the shark, right? that was half the shark, and this is half the shark, but that there is beautiful. 